This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. 13 COVID-19 cases reported in the Bahamas for Sunday, November 29th. Six cases on Grand Bahama, five cases on New Providence, and two with the locations pending. These cases bring the total in country to 7,530. Over the past three days, just 34 cases of coronavirus were confirmed for the Bahamas, a significant decrease from earlier in the month. New Providence did not record any cases of COVID-19 this past Friday, the first time since July. However, the Ministry of Health on Saturday they reported that the capital confirmed nine cases of the virus between Friday, Saturday, Friday and Saturday, rather, 21 new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed, seven on Friday and 14 on Saturday. Over the three-day period, 630, 697 rather, tests were completed, 64 on Friday, 418 on Saturday, 215 on Sunday, 56 in total were repeated tests, and 19 inconclusive results, six on Saturday and 13 on Sunday. There are now 1,444 active cases, 18 are hospitalized with two in the intensive care units, one at Doctors Hospital and the other at Grand Bahama Health Services. Recovered cases tally at 5,867. Non-COVID related deaths increased by one and now stands at 34. Death under investigation stand at 22 and the COVID-19 death toll remains at 163. 43,448 tests have been completed to date. Bahamians should not let their guards down, even as COVID-19 cases in the country continue its downward trend. Former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands says as much in a recent one-on-one -on -one with JCN's news team at his constituency office. Certainly the numbers we're seeing now are less than we had experienced, say, a month ago. But if we look at what's happening elsewhere in the United States and around the world, we should not let our guard down one bit. As a matter of fact, we should prepare for the next wave, and it's coming. Uh, it's definitely going to come. A third wave of coronavirus in the country would be worse than the first and second wave, and that's according to medical experts who have determined that many countries have not seen the worst of the virus. Now, the Bahamas opened its borders earlier this month to international travel and visitors. Asked his thoughts on the Ministry of Tourism's COVID-19 testing policy, which required people entering the country to have a negative COVID-19 result and then undergo a rapid antigen test five days after arriving in the country, Dr. Sand says this. I think the Bahamas needs to take a minute, step back, and look at how we can become the world thought leader in creating a COVID-free destination. Uh, given the fact that this pandemic is uh, only about nine months old, uh, certainly the total understanding is not so voluminous that we can't master it all. And I believe that the Bahamas can lead the way in understanding how we can keep not only tourists safe, but Bahamians safe. With several COVID-19 proactive vaccines seeking regulatory approval, the Elizabeth MP shared his thoughts. Well, we don't know what vaccine will be available to the Bahamas. At this point, there have been a number of vaccines. You got the Pfizer, uh, you have the AstraZeneca, Oxford University vaccine and they have different properties and there's one more um, we need to know what is going to be available and appropriate for the bahamas more than likely the astrazeneca vaccine will be made available in the bahamas because of its storage uh, capacity that does not require minus 70 or minus 80 degrees it can be stored at basically uh, refrigerator freezer temperatures and so uh, I think that a vaccine once widely tested uh, and verified should be subjected to an evaluation by uh, health professionals and others in the Bahamas. Dr. Sands adds that once those vaccines are deemed to be safe and effective by the government and health officials, he says he believes officials, including himself, should take it first before it's administered to the public. For now, the former health minister reiterates that Bahamians shouldn't take the pandemic lightly and says this isn't the time to party. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us.